Now, if we, if we can get back to where we were supposed to be, Jason. Uh, uh, I've got a story about bread, actually. <laughs> it's about tiger loaf, and I might embarrass my wife. Okay. No, she's telling me not to tell the story. <laughs> tiger loaf in my house is known as the anti-erotic bread. Because it just puts me to sleep. And, uh, yeah, and it's funny that every time I come in the house and there's a loaf of tiger bread there, I know my luck's not in. All the kids are like, what? And that's what she uses it for. No, I mean on the bread, obviously. Well, uh... <laughs> Well... You started the banter. My, my question to you actually what was concerning your family, and, uh, and it, it, it's, uh, have your kids actually uh, forgiven you for stealing their, their paddling pool at, at Snap the race track? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we, decided, we decided that, you know, in, inside these tour touring cars over hot weekends, they are pretty hot, about 60 degrees C inside. And when you get a bit, you know, long in the tooth like me or old, you need every bit of help you can get. So we, we thought it would be a great idea to steal my kids' power paddling pool and use it over a race weekend between the races. And, uh, yeah, it's not gone down too well. Now, uh, James? You've uh, got a new show, uh, uh, The Box. Uh, you're having fun filming that? It's finished. Yes, it's all done. Um, all done. Saturday Kitchen. I've got a rare weekend off, really, which is quite cool. So I only get two weekends off a year um, from doing it. But it's, um, yeah, it's... Well, mate, it's cool. I, I, yeah, it's, I enjoy it. It's good fun. And What's that? This is the third weekend you've had off in five weeks. <laughs> Carfest North. Yorkshire and this weekend. I only get two weekends off. Uh, back to the original question. Did you enjoy filming the box? Hey? Yeah, the box. Great. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Next question. No, no, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it was good fun. It's food in a box. And people did stuff with it. Very similar to food in a bag, ready, steady, cook. Well, I couldn't say anything, but yeah, it was food in the box. That nice advertisement for the show coming up. It's, it's just food in a box. It's food in a box cooked in 20 minutes. Otherwise known as food in a bag cooked in 20 minutes. But it was good. It was, it was good fun. It's good fun. Now, uh, Tom. Hello. Keeping with the theme of, of, of the box, if you got up any things in a box, what, what would you cook? If I could cook anything from a box. From things that would be in the box. Uh. Not, not a box. <laughs> Get like well, rice krispies come in a box. You can make it like a really nice rice krispie cake. In in James's show. If... Oh yeah, James's show. Uh, it's a James's show. Rusty's coming about. Yeah, I I wasn't asked to go on it, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> so so I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit upset and her and. So I, 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 would cook, I would go back to cooking things in a bag. <laughs> now, 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 hopefully, you'll have a little bit of luck of having your questions answered that, than I did. We're, we're going to go to you now. Joe's going to come and find some people. Uh, okay. Okay, so make this easy for me. Hands up. Who wants to ask a question? No, mums, hands down, immediately. There is no asking any questions to Paul. He's not single, he's not interested. What are you? Are you? He's married, he's married, he's married. You've got a question, okay. Right there. I'm gonna come down here. That is a great, stand up a second. Okay, do a little spin. How cool is this outfit? You did the run this morning. We had a fun run on site this morning. You did the fun run this morning, didn't you? Yeah, what time did you do it in? Um, I, I don't know yet. Whoa, you did it in 13 minutes? Wow, you definitely are a superhero. Okay, what's your name? Noah. Okay, Noah. Tell me, who is your question for? Jason. Go for it. What inspired your racing? 
Well, that's a great question. What inspired me in racing? <clears throat> I guess my earliest memory of uh, of a driver, which you know I couldn't stop watching, was a guy called Gilles Villeneuve in, in in the eighties, and he was the person really which got me really interested in motorsport. You know, I loved his style. He was he was on the ragged edge. He was he was a bit maverick. He was a bit wild, and uh, and he drove a Ferrari, and 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 even to this day. Um, Enzo Ferrari's house in the middle of Fiorano has kind of been restored and left exactly as it was when, you know, the day he died. And there's only one picture in that room, and that's on his desk, and that's a, a portrait of, of Gilles. And no other driver ma made it into Enzo's room. So, for me, he was, he was the, the hero. Good question, Noah. Okay, any more questions? Yes. I'm coming to the back, don't worry. Coming to the back. Great hat. That is an amazing hat. Can I wear it while you ask the question? Is it magic? <laughs> it's definitely not magic. Okay, what's your name? Who's your question for? How many, how many bagels have you done? How many, oh, about three million. We've done, um, we, did, uh, we do a lot of celebrity ones. We do, we're filming that in September, which will be coming out in January. Uh, we counted on the last Bake Off. Um, Mel, no, Sue said we've judged over 3,000 products since we've started. So it's quite a lot. But we've done six series, so six series of Bake Off, and we're already starting to work on the next year's Bake Off. So we're going to, we'll be around for a bit longer. Are you a baker? Yes. What's the best thing you've ever baked? <laughs> what did you say? Pizza. Pizza, nice. Pizzas are delicious, yeah. With sweeties on it. Pizzas with sweeties on it. Did you have a name for it? <laughs> a sweetie pizza, if you missed that. Okay, next question.